Alrighty guys, Hermie here with episode 3 of the DMA series. Basically in this series I get a defender, a midfielder and an attacker between 150 coins and 10,000 coins in buy now. So basically I could get anyone from any league, any nationality, any team. Bronze, silver, gold, completely random. You're forced to build a hybrid, that's what I love so much about it. And the defender we get, as you can see here, is Metzelda. He's German and plays for Schalke in the Bundesliga. And uh... It turns out to be a very interesting team and a funny story to go with it. The midfielder we get is Gorkouf, plays for Olympic Lyonnais in the French League. And the forward we get, as you can see here, is going to be Pablo Hernandez, plays in the Spanish League. And uh, this is basically the team, or well, they're, they're the three players. Uh, we're going to be using 4 3 2 1, my favourite formation. And basically, this team is going to be inspired by an Apentas video named Perfect Lines. Initially, I didn't realise. I just remembered seeing the video a while back when he posted it, and I didn't remember, I didn't realize that I used the same front three, which is a bit unfortunate. But uh, I'll link that video in the description. So here comes the squad builder part of it anyway. And the squad you can see here, we have the goalkeeper is going to be Manuel Neuer. The right back is going to be Philip Lahm. The first centre back is going to be Metzolder, as you would have seen. The second centre back, Toprak. The left back is going to be Panda, who's a beast. Goal Kuf is the first centre mid you have already seen. Uh, Gonalons, the centre mid, Grenier, the other centre mid, Pablo Hernandez, the right wing, Soldado, the striker, and the left wing is going to be Jordi Alba. So that is the team, and I didn't realise that in uh, Nepenthes' Perfect Lines video that the front three were all the same, but uh, as you can see, as you saw before, they were the random players that I got, and before I realised they were the front three that he had used, that's, this is the... I intended to do this, the perfect lines, and do a shout out to his video. Not that he's going to get a great deal of views from it, but um, that is the team anyway. We'll get to the clips and I'll talk a little bit more about the players and how they performed. So definitely check out Nefenthes' video if you haven't already. It's an absolute beasty video. But uh, yeah, we'll get on to the clips and hope you like it. Alrighty guys, here we go with the gameplay. And I'll talk a bit about the players, and we'll start at the back with Manuel Neuer. He's an absolute beast, and he's got a, an 87 in form card, which I'm guessing was brought out uh, a little bit before this 87 upgraded card. But, um, yeah, he's an absolute tank. Please go get Neuer. You won't, you know, you won't be sorry. He's the best goalkeeper in the Bundesliga, if not one of the best in the game. And uh, Philip Lahm's an absolute beast. He's only sort of outdone at the right back, but I think it's Piszczek. I think that's the only sort of play that you could sort of get in the Bundesliga apart from apart from Lahm. But uh, the first centre-back we got was the centre-back we actually got as our defender as Metzelder, and he wasn't actually too bad, considering he's only got like 48 pace or whatever it was. He seemed to have the be in the right position, so it didn't, you know, fill out a place. It didn't feel like we got overrun with pace, so he, he felt pretty solid. And uh, top rack, the other centre-back, was a little bit average compared to Metzelder, actually. He didn't actually feel too strong when going into the tackles, so I don't know. An 80 in form card is not the normal, not you know, the highest in form card you can get. So you can't expect too much, I don't think. But uh, the left back Panda is an absolute tank. It's going for about 30k that in form card. His regular is pretty decent, but I love the in form. And he's just fast, really strong in the tackles going backwards, but so good going forward. He's got three star skills, and he's got a wicked shot. And um, he's an absolute beast. The only person that I'd probably get in front of him that's sort of stronger on the ball and a little bit better is probably Taiwo as a left back. But yeah, Pan is an absolute tank. And uh, the first centre mid is going to be Gorkuf. He's five star skills, but the only problem with me, I don't think he really shone in a centre mid position. I think if you put him as a centre attacking mid or a centre forward, he'd do a little bit better. But uh, yeah, five star skills is always good. And uh, the, f the middle centre mid, Gonalons, is really, really strong. He's got a great long shot on him as well. I didn't get a clip with it, but yeah, he's got a nice shot. And uh, Grenier is the right centre mid. He's also, uh, I think he's a centre defensive mid. So, uh, he's he had good defending stats as well, so that always helped. But he's got an alright shot, but he probably wasn't quite as good as Gonalons. The same sort of type of player, but not quite as good. And uh, the right wing, Hernandez, got an absolute rocket of a hit on him. Uh, he's good to skill with, four-star skills. And, uh, yeah, just really fun to dribble with. Go through defences, finish it off. And uh, Alba's really quick. You can, he's got a left-back card now. That's where he plays for Barcelona, I think it is now. He also got a left-back card for the uh, the Euros, so that's that's always good. He played for Spain in the Euros as left-back. And uh, he's really solid, really quick. But as, as a left-wing, he's got a nice shot as well. Good hitting on him. And uh, this clip you're watching now is actually 
one of Alba's goals. Not the best, you know, sort of cut in, but a good finish, good strong finish. And uh, it's actually a long clip. I just left it running because uh, Soldado gets a goal straight after it. Nice one twos with I think it's Pablo Hernandez. So anyway, Soldado is the next player. He's not the quickest, but as you'll see coming up, he's really, really got a great shot. So strong, great finishing. He's an absolute beast. He's got a couple of inform cards that I've tried out. I tried the 84, I think it was, and it didn't sort of feel amazing to me. I might try the 85 one day. But uh, the 81 felt, you know, fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Maybe my hopes were getting up with the 84 in form, but the 81 felt, felt all right. So go get a Soldado, I'd say. So I'd probably recommend nearly all of these players, except maybe top rack to center back's not that great. Um, Grenier, the right center mid, maybe. And uh, Metzelda if you need someone quicker. But... uh. Definitely a nice team, fun to play with, and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I've been Hermie, and uh, peace.